Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have 8 to the power of 16 plus 8 to the power of 16. So for my solution, Eight here, this is the same thing as two to the power of three. So now if I go ahead and substitute in two to the power of three for eight, I get two to the power of three to the power of 16 plus two to the power of three to the power of 16. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n. This is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So these two simply just multiply. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 16. So we can think of a as 2, m as 3, and n as 16. So this would be equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 times 16. And 3 times 16 is equal to 48. So now I have, sorry, 2 to the power of 48. So now I have 2 to the power of 48 plus 2 to the power of 48. So now from here, if I factor out 2 to the power of 48, I get 2 to the power of 48 times 1 plus 1, because 2 to the power of 48 divided by 2 to the power of 48 is 1. Now 1 plus 1, this is, that's equal to 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 48 times 2. Now 2 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 2 to the power of 48 times 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2 to the power of 48 plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 49. So this is my answer. All right, so I have three to the power of x plus three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to one. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with three to the power of x plus three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to one. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is, for my left-hand side, I'm gonna factor out three to the power of x. So now I have three to the power of x times one plus one plus one is equal to one. Now if I simplify what's in the parentheses, I get three to the power of x times three is equal to one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So we can think of three as three to the power of one. So three to the power of x times three to the power of one, and that's gonna equal three to the power of x plus one, which is equal to one. So now anything to the power of zero is actually equal to one. And because we want these two to be the same bases, I'm gonna change one to three to the power of zero. So now I have three to the power of x plus one is equal to three to the power of zero. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x plus one, this is equal to zero. 
So now to solve this, all I have to do is subtract one on both sides. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to zero minus one, which is negative one. So now to check, I have three to the power of x plus three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to one. So now if x equals negative one, I have three to the power of negative one plus three to the power of negative one plus three to the power of negative one is equal to one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of negative n, this is the same thing as one over a to the power of n. So three to the power of negative one, that's gonna equal one over three plus one over three plus one over three, which is equal to one. Now one over three plus one over three plus one over three, that's equal to three over three, which is equal to one. Three over three divided by, or sorry, three divided by three is one. So I have one over one, or sorry, one equals one, which is right, so my solution is right. All right, so I have x squared minus one is equal to x minus one squared. So right here, I wanna find the value of x. So for my solution, I first start with x squared minus one is equal to x minus one squared. Now, x squared minus one, this is the same thing as x squared minus one squared, because one is the same thing as one squared. So now I have x squared minus one squared is equal to x minus one squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, x squared minus one squared, this is gonna equal x minus one times x plus one. And now this is equal to x minus one squared. Now x minus one squared, this is the same thing as x minus one times x minus one, because it's just x minus one twice. So now, if I subtract both sides by x minus one times x minus one, I get x minus one times x plus one minus x minus one times x minus one is equal to zero. Now, if I factor out x minus one, I get x minus one times x plus one minus x minus one. This is equal to zero. Now it's equal to x minus one times x plus one minus x plus one, which is equal to zero. Now these two x's cancel out and I'm left with one plus one, which is equal to two. So I have x minus one times two is equal to zero. Now, if I divide both sides by two, these two cancel out, so I'm left with x minus one is equal to zero. So now if I simply add one on both sides, I get x is equal to one. So this is my answer.